Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Warhammer 40k figure, Brother Maginar, I believe that's how his name is pronounced, by Joy Toy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in box, and then I'm going to take a look at him and his accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on him. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a small click for you, but it will really help this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so here he is in packaging. Uh, you got the Warhammer logo, Joy Toy, um, age restriction, what scale he is, his name, uh, the Chaos Space Marine with logo, the official Warhammer symbol here, and you get this really nice picture of the figure. I like the detail to this. I like how it looks. It looks really cool. Spin him around this way. You get your legal. Spin it here. You once again get the Warhammer 40k logo, his name, a little bit of legal underneath of him, a nice picture of him with all his accessories, and then a couple other pictures of the figure. Spin it this way. You get the official Warhammer logo, Warhammer 40k, Joy Toy, and his name. All right, the top, you got the Warhammer 40k logo, the same with the bottom. So, with all that said, Let's open him up and see what he's about. So here he is out of packaging. He's a really nice looking figure. I love the detail to him. And that's what I really love about this line of figures is I just love the detail. I love that they took an extra minute and they put a wash over him that really makes a lot of things like really pop out on this figure. So let's start with the rotation. Like these skulls, for example, on here. Like a lot of other companies would probably just make that white, maybe darken in the eyes and stuff. But no, nah, they, they put like this extra wash and what have you. It just really makes that stand out and that's really, really nice looking. You know? It's just, I love the detail on these figures. They, they definitely take that extra minute and it makes it worth the price point. You know, when they put a little extra work into it, it makes it worth spending a little bit of extra money for it. So let's go through his points of articulation. So his head does spin. All right, he has a shoulder joint. Now, his shoulder pads here are on a free moving axis, so they move on their own, which is really nice. All right, he has a swivel here and an elbow joint. He has a wrist joint. All right, get these arms up. He does have a swivel right here at the belt line and also one right at the the bottom of his armor here so that's really nice all right he does have oops let me move this out of the way a thigh joint a knee joint an ankle joint and he has a toe joint all right so he has basically the standard points of articulation like most figures do um he comes with a bunch of accessories so he has an open hand here all right, another open hand, and a fist. All right, he also comes with a bolter pistol, <coughs> a chain sword, all right, and his environmental pack. All right, and once again, look at that cool detail. That looks really neat. I really like that. That really pops out at you. Right. Hey, are you going to be in the Philadelphia area between September 9th and 10th? If so, check out RetroCon. It's affordable. They have lots of great vendors. There's going to be cosplay competitions, celebrities, and much, much more. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. And also, Samuel J. Jones is going to be there, better known as Flash Gordon. So check it out. Plus, singer and actor Tom Wopak, best known as Luke Duke from the Dukes of Hazards. Greg Evigan will be there, best known for BJ and the Bear, My Two Dads, and Tech Wars. 
Voice actress Kathy Garver will be there, the one and only Firestar from Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Next on our list, all the way from Cybertron, the hit rock band Cybertronic Spree. And check this out, the rare Hasbro Proton Pack as a raffle prize. Now you can't beat that. So let's see how well these things fit on him. First off, let's do his pack. Spin them around. There's two holes that that pops into. There it goes. No issues. Uh, let's exchange this hand here for his open hand. Okay. Pops right. Oops. Oh, shoot. Accidentally popped both of them out. Huh. All right. All right, so what happened here is this is on a double ball joint, okay? So instead of popping out, you know, at the wrist, or I, I, I guess you would say at the hand, it popped out at the wrist. It's not broken. It's just the way how it just happened to go. So what happens is all I got to do is take this and pop it back in here. <clears throat> Just like that. That's back in where it's supposed to be. Take this hand. Work it on how it's supposed to go. Boop. And now he's back in business. So that's not a broken toy. It's just, it just the way how it pops out. And it's just a design thing. That's another reason why I personally like figures when that joint is off of the hand instead of, you know, at the wrist, like here. I'll show you here with this Donatello hand. See how this one has the peg here and it just pops in? I think that's a lot better transaction than it being here. And that's just a personal thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Once again, the figure isn't broken. It's just the way how it works. So with that being said, let's see how well these weapons fit into his hands. So first, let's start with the chain sword. Pops into his hand. No issues, like it belongs there. And now let's try his pistol. His bolter pistol here. All right. Work it a little bit. Slides into his other hand. No issues with his bolter pistol. So, get that like that out of his face so overall i think he's a really neat figure um that's a minor issue you know with the wrist there but that's neither a here or there thing it's just you know something that can be a little bit of an inconvenience at times but once again the figure wasn't broken it's just a design flaw i guess you can call it and you know but overall you still look great with your figures he you looked great on the shelf uh, you know i really like him it's a really neat, you know, wave of Warhammer figures. And if you're a real big Warhammer fan, I'd really recommend these figures to you. So, with that being said, I hope you did like this figure. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's a small click for you, but it'll really help this channel grow. So, until the next one, late.